this full slow breath. With this quality of openness, we're gonna bring the attention to the heart center. As if we could breathe in and out through the middle of the chest, through the heart, just allowing the breath to dissolve, to soften any tightness that might be there, any edges. Just tuning into your heart reach for the for this practice for our movement together. Just remaining in our body. We can keep the eyes closed as we send the arms next to the ears, feel the length. We can interlace the fingers, breathing. And on the exhale, we bring the knees to the chest one by one, giving a hug to the body. We can again swing gently from side to side. And we're going to rest the feet down onto the floor, hips this then apart. From here, we're going to bring the arms next to the body. Just a little bit wider, sort of like V-shape. We press the hands down onto the mat as we breathe in. We're gonna arch the spine, keeping the tailbone and the shoulders up. As we exhale, we draw navel in towards the mat. We're gonna go a couple of times. You might know this one. We inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, navel in, feel the long back. We take once more, inhale, lift the ribcage. Exhale, navel in, long lower back. We take a deep inhale where we are, long neck. On the exhale, we're gonna lift the shoulders off the floor as we press the elbows and the forearms down. On the inhale, we lengthen the spine on the mat. This time we're gonna lift the hips up as we exhale. We go three more times this combo on the inhale, spine on the floor. Press through the elbows, the forearms, lift the gaze up on the inhale, lengthen the spine on the mat. Exhale, lift the hips. We go twice more with your breath. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hips to the ribcage. We inhale, lengthen, full body alive. We lift the hips up. We go one last time. Inhale. Exhale, lift the gaze. Inhale, long spine on the mat. Press through the heels, lift the hips up. We're gonna take a moment here. And if available, we're gonna send the right knee to the chest. Flex the right foot. We take two more breaths. So we'll feel the back of the left thigh, the hamstring activating and alive. And we're gonna switch, send right foot down. And we lift the left knee to the chest. We flex the left foot as for a life. Yes, we take two more breaths. And we send the left foot down, bring the hips down onto the mat. From here, we're gonna bring the feet just slightly further forward. We're gonna keep the feet flexed. We engage the glutes, tuck the tailbone slightly forward as we lift the hips. We take three more breaths. So we'll feel it more again at the hamstrings. So we start to activate them, to feel them. We take one more breath and we send the hips down. We're gonna bring the feet if available, just slightly forward. We press through the heels, engage the glutes, lift the hips up. We take two more breaths. And we bring the spine down one last time. Feel free to keep fever there. Maybe slightly forward. Press through the heels, lift the hips. We take one more breath. And we send the hips down nice. We're gonna hug the knees to the chest once more. And this time we send the left foot down onto the floor, left knee bend. We're gonna expand the arms wide into T-shape. Send the right heel to the sky. We're gonna start opening the leg towards the side. And we bring right leg forward. So creating circles with your right leg up to the chest, to the side if there's a space. 
and forward. We go twice more, moving the figure. As if drawing with your right foot, we go one last time, inhale. Exhale, open. Bring right foot forward, right knee to chest. And we press right foot down, we go straight opposite side, left foot to the sky. Opening to the side, long spine on the floor, left foot forward. We go inhale up. Nice, to the side. And forward we go once more. Painting the air. Hugging the left knee to the chest full. We send both feet down. We're gonna send the hands behind the thighs. Look forward and we roll up and down on the mat. We can take a couple of times and we meet in our cross leg towards the front of the mat. From here, sending hands to the knees, lift the chest up, shoulders down. Beautiful. On the exhale, round the spine. We're going to go twice more on the inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. We go once more just to explore the space here at the heart. Exhale, round the spine. So we're going to sweep the arms next to the ears, press through the hips. On the exhale, we press the air down as we grow taller, we start tilting to the right. Easy, neck, reaching through the fingers, we roll the upper spine forward and we can walk the fingertips towards the front of the mat. Feel free to swim the upper body from side to side. And we roll the spine all the way up. We rotate shoulders out, press through the hands behind the back, lift the chest. Option one, option two, feel free to lift the hips off the floor. We take one more breath, glutes engage. And we send the hips down. We're gonna bring the knees together. And we're gonna point the toes down onto the mat. From here is our Navasana variation today. So we have the option to stay here. Feel free to extend the arms towards the side as we reach through the fingers. If available, we're going to send the feet off the floor. And as we inhale, we're going to keep the toes to touch. We widen the knees. On the exhale, we squeeze the thighs. We're going to go three more times. Inhale, wide. Exhale in, beautiful, twice more. That's it. Inhale, we can keep feet on the floor, perfect. Exhale in, we go one last time. Inhale wide. Exhale in, we bring feet, hips distant apart into our reverse table top, engage the glutes, the hamstrings alive. We're gonna lift the front body, taking three deep breaths. We can release the head. We take two more breaths, pressing especially through the inside of the hands. And we send the hips down towards the mat. From here, we're gonna extend the legs forward. Feel free to keep the knees micro bend if we're rounding. And today, we're gonna rotate the toes out towards the side. And we bring the toes in together. An option to stay here, if facing your body, we can lean slightly forward. As we continue this movement, we go twice more, so just blurring the space here. Nice, using the core to lean, beautiful. We go one last time, rotate up. Exhale, rotate in. We're gonna roll the spine all the way up. We bend both knees, sending the arms parallel to the floor. We're gonna keep the feet flexed. Just letting the legs drop towards the right as we grow taller, we twist the upper body to the back of the mat. And we exhale, come back to center. We drop the knees to the left. We grow taller. And through center, we go one more round. We twist to the right, long arms. Exhale through center and left side, inhale. Exhale through center, we're gonna cross the legs opposite way as before, so just the way less familiar. Sweep the arms to the sky. 
Exhale, press the thicker down as we grow taller. We're going to start tilting to the left, reach. And we roll the upper spine forward. We're going to walk the fingertips to the front of the mat. Maybe this side feels slightly different. And we roll the spine all the way up, rotate shoulders out, press hands behind the back, lift the chest, option one, option two. We lift the hips up as we engage the glutes, one more breath. And we send the hips down. We're gonna bring once more the knees together for our Navasana pose. And from here, straight away, we're gonna widen the knees. And feel free to keep feet on the floor. We're going to send hands underneath the shoulders, elbows in towards one another. Option to stay here in our balance. Option to lengthen the legs forward as we lean the upper body back. On the exhale, we pull the toes towards our heart. We're going to go three more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale in like elastic band. We go three more. Inhale. Exhale in. We go twice more. Inhale, long spine. Exhale in. We go one last time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in. We're going to send feet, hips distant apart. Keep the hands where they are as we tap tailbone forward. Lift the front body up. On the exhale, we're going to hover the hips off the ground or between the arms as you prefer. We go three more times. Inhale, lift the front body. Exhale, hips off the ground. We go twice more, pressing through the index finger, through the thumb. Exhale, hips off the mat one last time. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hips off the floor. We're going to send the hips down. Feet flex, sweep the arms to the ceiling. And using our core, we're going to bow forward. We go twice more. Inhale, move the air with the arms. Exhale, forward. We go one last time. Inhale to expand. Exhale to reach. We roll the spine all the way up. We're going to bend both knees, keeping feet flex, arms parallel to the floor. As we did earlier, we let the knees drop to the left, expand the arms wide, grow tall. We inhale through center, shoulders down. Nice. And we twist to the right. And we go one more round, inhale through center. Exhale, moving with the whole body. We inhale, center. And we twist to the right. On the next inhale, look forward. We find our all fours towards the front of the mat. So just taking a moment to arrive, expand the fingers wide. We're going to point the feet down onto the floor. Beautiful. On the next inhale, we're going to arch the spine. Look forward, shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the spine, release the head. We go twice more. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. We go once more this way. Inhale. Exhale, round. On the next inhale, we go to neutral spine. And we're going to extend the right leg back, point the right toes, keep pressing through the hands. We're going to bring the right toes towards the back left corner of the mat. On the inhale, right leg back to center and right toes to the back right corner of the mat. And we continue this movement. Exhale, toes to the left. Inhale, press the floor, toes to the right. We go three more as if painting a rainbow with the right toes. Inhale, up to the side. We go twice more. Nice one. Exhale, inhale, to the side. One last time. 
exhale, inhale, lift to the side, we're going to pick up that right foot down onto the mat, so we bring that left foot behind us into our modified side plank, and we can walk that left knee a little bit towards the back of the mat, so we press more with the left hand if you prefer more intensity, we're going to pick up right knee off the floor, right arm next to right ear, and we're going to squeeze the elbow to knee today in front of us, we're going to take three more times on the ear, how lengthen, Exhale, squeeze. We go twice more, moving the thicker. Exhale, in. We go one last time, beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, in. We're going to reach away, foot and hand. An option to bend the right knee. Maybe hand to the hip, maybe catch the right foot. We take one more breath. And we free the leg, we meet in our plank pose. Feel free to keep the knees down. We're gonna pulse the right knee to the chest for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee, left elbow for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful to right elbow for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we send right feet back, knees on the floor, we're going to keep toes tuck under, send the tailbone to the heels and roll the spine up into our toes straight. From here, we're going to expand the arms wide, easy neck. On the exhale, we round and we're going to hug the right arm on top of the left. On the inhale, open the chest, shoulder blades together. We hug the left arm on top of the right. We go once more. Inhale, move the air, full body life. Exhale, right arm on top. We hold here for a moment, gaze down. And we press through the toes, lift the hips on top of the knees, free the arms to the sky. We're going to support the back of the head. We take a deep inhale. We're going to lean the hips back, maybe a little bit, maybe further. We go twice more. Inhale, body forward. Exhale, hips back. One last time. Perfect. Inhale. We feel the glutes as we lean back. We stay for one breath. And we move through our all four. So free the hands, hands towards the mat. We're gonna take our cat and cow to arrive, arch the spine, look forward. Exhale, round. We're gonna take twice more. Inhale, chest open. Nice. Exhale, round, free the head. We go once more. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. On the next inhale, we go to neutral spine. Send the left leg back, point the left toes, reach. We send left foot to the back right corner of the mat. Inhale, pick the leg up and towards the left. We inhale up, long arms, cross the leg behind the right. We inhale, lift to the side. We go three more as if moving in water. Feel the resistance. Inhale up to the side. We go inhale center. Exhale cross. Inhale up to the side. One last time. Press through the hands. Easy neck. Inhale up to the side. From here, we come back through center, send left foot down just to right. We're going to bring right foot behind us. Feel the left arm to the ceiling. Maybe walking that right knee more towards the back of the mat. We're going to pick up the left leg off the floor, left arm next to left ear. On the exhale, we squeeze elbow to knee. On the inhale, lengthen the way. Exhale, squeeze. Twice more, inhale, reach, exhale, in. We go one last time, expand, 
exhale in we send left hand forward left foot back we can bend the left knee maybe catch the left hip maybe the left foot if that feels good on the body we take one more breath and we release into our clan pose feel free to keep both knees down more than perfect we're gonna squeeze left knee to the chest for seven six five four three two one left knee right elbow for seven six five four three two one left knee left elbow for seven six five four three two one we send left leg back rest the knees on the floor keep the toes stuck under tailbone to heels roll the spine up into our toes stretch just a moment to arrive feeling the ball of the feet on the mat, we expand the arms wide. We hug the left arm on top of the right. We inhale, open the chest. Exhale, deep breath round the spine, right arm on top. We go once more. Inhale, move the air. Exhale, hug left arm on top. We take a moment, chin down. And we free the arms, lift the hips on top of the knees and tuck the toes, support the back of the head. We tuck tailbone forward slightly and we lean back. Perfect, where you are. We go twice more, inhale, move forward. We grow taller as we lean back. We go one last time, inhale. Exhale, lean back. We stay for two breaths. Feel free to close the eyes on this one. Just like floating in space. And we move forward. We're landing toward downward facing dogs. So rooting through our hands and feet. We can paddle through the legs for a moment. Maybe move the head from side to side. We're gonna take in our inhale through plank, shoulders past the wrists, and we come back to downward dog, hips up to the sky. We go twice more. Inhale, heels on top of the toes, nice. Exhale, downward dog. One last time this way, inhale. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to move through our plank. Rest the knees down, bend elbows in halfway maximum. We lengthen the arms and know this one and we send tailbone back to heels. And we go twice more. On the inhale, shoulders past the wrists. We bend the elbows if we want to touch the ribcage. We lengthen the arms, push through the fingers. Exhale back. We go one last time, slightly different. Move through our knee plank, bend elbows in. Baby cobra, lift the chest, hips down. And we rest the forehead down onto the mat. So we're gonna bring baby cobra once more. So gluing the legs on the floor. We can peel the heart off the mat. Don't worry about the height. We're gonna send the arms next to the ears if available. Long neck. On the exhale, we're going to pull the elbows in towards the body and we go twice more. On the inhale, reach forward the fingertips. Exhale, pull the elbows in. We go once more, moving the air as if swimming in water. Exhale, elbows in. Option to stay here. Option to extend the arms to the back of the mat. Option to lift the legs off the floor. Don't worry about the height, just the feeling of lengthening, floating. We take one more breath, reach. Beautiful. And we rest down from here. We're going to send hands next to the ribcage or next to the hips for our either baby cobra or upward dog. Breathe to open. We meet in our downward facing dog on your own rhythm. We're going to paddle through the legs. And walk the feet towards the front of the mat, towards the hands. We're going to meet in our forward fall. And feel free to keep the knees bent as we move the hips from side to side. We're going to stop on the center, let the arms down. 
and we roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, just checking in, we feel the whole body. We rise to a standing, send the arms next to the ears, rest through the feet, look up, the exhale, expand the arms wide into our chair pose, inhale. We bring the hands together at the heart. From here, we're going to lift the right heel, keeping the toes down onto the mat. And we press right heel on the floor. We feel the hamstring. We're going to lift the left heel up and press down. We go once more, the right foot using the back. This time, we're going to rise the right foot up into one leg standing. We can move into standing pigeon. We're going to open that right hip. Option two, we can bend that left knee for a deeper stretch with that full control. Maybe forearms towards the right shin. And we rise all the way up. Square the hips, slide right foot back, almost slow motion. Rest in the right knee on the floor, point the right toes, feel free to use double mat if you need to. We're going to free the arms up to the ceiling. On the exhale, we press the air back with the fingertips. We go twice more, inhale, lift. Exhale, further press the air back. We go once more, just noticing how far we move. Exhale, press the air. We rise, arms to the sky. Now we're going to catch the right wrist. Option two, we tilt the upper body to the left. So bring in that extra stretch to that right hip. Yes. We take one more breath. And we rise up, free the hands towards the floor. We step left leg back to downward dog through vinyasa. We flow into plank. Chaturanga, feel free to rest the knees upward dog or cobra. Yes. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg up, three leg dog, point the left toes. Exhale, knee to nose. We're gonna go twice more, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. We go once more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, step left foot to the front of the mat. We rise into high lunge. On the exhale, we lean the upper body forward as we open the arms towards the back of the mat, towards the right heel. We're gonna option to stay, option to shift the weight to the left foot point, the right toes. We're just gonna lift the right leg off the floor. Option to bend the right knee. We go twice more, inhale, right leg stand. Exhale, bend. We go one last time, inhale, exhale, bend. We're going to pull that right knee to the chest, rise to a standing. And both feet down towards the front of the mat. We paddle through the feet, circle the wrist, sweep the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, flat back, inhale, lengthen. Hands down, we step or fly through our vinyasa of our choice. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We paddle through the legs for a moment. Bend the knees, look forward and step or fly to the front of the mat. From here, we're gonna keep the knees micro bend as we open the feet as wide as the mat. We're gonna rotate the toes knees out. We're going to lower the hips into our malasana. So some of us will stay higher, see if we can keep the heels on the floor. From here, we're going to bring the hands to the chest. I'll be facing you on the next inhale. We're going to press through the feet, sweep the arms up as we rise to standing. On the exhale, bend the knees, cross the right arm on top. On the inhale, lengthen, expand. Exhale, bend, we cross left arm on top. We go once more, inhale, reach. 
exhale bend cross right arm on top an option to hug opposite shoulders gaze down option to hug opposite knees so a little bit more intensity we're gonna take one more breath and we meet in our forward fold bringing the feet to parallel release the head we take one deep breath we roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, taking with you the toes, fingers, the head. We sweep the arms next to the ears, breathing, maybe gaze up. We meet in our chair pose, hips back. We inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands through the chest. We're going to lift the left heel up, press through the toes. And we bring left heel down. We lift the right heel, inhale. And press down. We go once more, left heel up. We rise to one leg standing as we press the earth into a standing pigeon. Option to stay here, nice. Option to bend the right knee. Beautiful, balance. And we rise up to standing. Just getting the feedback off the body. If we fall more than perfect, slide left foot back into our knee latch. From here, point the left toes a moment to right. We're going to sweep the arms up and open the chest, press the air down. We go twice more on the inhale, reach. Exhale, open. We go once more, inhale, exhale back. We rise both arms up, easy neck. We're gonna catch the left wrist. We press through the feet as we till the upper body to the right. Take one more breath. And we rise up, send both hands towards the mat, right leg back, downward dog. Through Vinyasa, we flow of your choice into plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straight away, root through the hands, bring right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee to chest. We go twice more, move here. Exhale, squeeze. Once more, nice. Inhale, reaching further. We step right foot to the front of the mat. We rise into high lunge as we press through the feet, legs alive. And we lean into our arrow pose. We're going to expand the arms wide, fingertips towards the back heel. An option to stay here for more intensity. We shift the weight forward. Maybe left leg off the mat. We can all bend the left knee, heel to glute. And we extend, we go twice more. Bend the knee. And extend, nice, don't worry. We fall one last time. And extend, it's time to transition, bend the left knee. Send it to the chest as we rise to a standing. We grow taller, long right leg, nice. And we bring both feet down. Feet hips distant apart, sweep the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, release. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Hands down, step or fly through our optional chaturanga. Upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We can paddle through the legs, bend the knees, look forward, and step or fly to the front of the mat. From here, as we did earlier, we're going to bring the feet a little bit wider, rotate the knees, the toes, the hips up, and pressing through the other edge of the feet, we lower the hips. Maybe higher, maybe lower, more than perfect, wherever we are. We bring hands to the chest, legs like that. On the inhale, we're going to rise, engage the glutes. Exhale, we cross the left arm on top of the right. We inhale, expand, move here. Exhale, right arm on top. 
We go once more in. Exhale, left arm on top. And we stay here for the moment. Again, feel free to hug the shoulders, look down. Feel free to hug the knees, but a little bit more intensity. We're gonna take two more breaths. And we meet in our forward fold. We're gonna bring the feet to parallel, release the head. From here, keeping both knees bent, we can take our twist of the upper body towards the right. We have the option to extend that right leg, maybe send right arm to the sky just to open through the hand. And we release through center, soften the shoulders, the neck. We can twist the upper body to the left, feel free to extend that left leg. Lift the left arm up if that feels good on this side. And we release down. We're going to keep knees micro bend as we roll the spine. We check in with the whole body, feel the fingers, the crown of the head. We sweep the arms to the ceiling. And we bring the hands through the chest, feet together to the front of the mat. We're going to pick up the right foot up. An option to open here into our tree. Feel free to bring the foot higher. We're gonna take two more breaths, nice. So prioritizing perfect, the length of that left leg, nice for me. We take one more breath. And just where we are, we're gonna start extending that right leg towards the floor, flex the right foot. So we keep that external rotation on the hip. From here, we're gonna bring the right heel forward into a 45 degree angle. On the next exhale, we're gonna cross the right leg on front of the leg. And inhale through center. We open the leg to the front corner of the mat. And inhale through center. We go two more rounds, cross sides. And through center, we open to the side, keep reaching. And center one last time, cross, squeeze. Nice, center, we open to the side, we grow taller. And through center, we're gonna slide that right leg back, keeping that external rotation, we bend the left knee into this modified warrior three. From here, we can point the right toes. An option to bend the right knee, so foot will go towards the side. We go twice more, right leg extend. Exhale, bend the right knee, glute engage. Nice one, last time. Inhale. Exhale, bend, beautiful. We extend right leg, step foot down into warrior two. A moment to arrive, that left hip open. And we're gonna bend the elbows, support the back of the head. On the inhale, we lengthen both legs, rest through the feet. Exhale, bend the left knee. We inhale, stay. And we lean the left elbow towards the floor. We're gonna go twice more. Inhale, shoulders on top of the hips, extend both legs. Exhale, bend the left knee. We take a deep inhale. And we lean to side angle pose. We go once more, both legs length and lift. Exhale, bend the left knee, we stay. Lean the upper body towards the left leg. We're gonna take two more breaths. Nice right elbow to the sky. Press through the feet. We move through our reverse warrior, left elbow to the ceiling. And we wheel the arms all the way down towards the mat. Left leg back, three leg dog. Optional three leg vinyasa, normal vinyasa. Feel free to meet in our downward facing dog. Exhale up, beautiful. We're gonna paddle through the legs, bend the knees, look forward, step or fly to the front of the mat. Beautiful. And from here in our forward fold, softening the neck. We're going to send both hands down onto the floor. So if available, we can keep the knees bent. We can bring the hands in front of the toes. 
If that's too intense for our body, we can bring it a little bit further forward, more than perfect. We're gonna keep the arms lengthened and lifting the heels off the floor will bring more weight to the hands, to the fingers. And we bring the heels down. So just shifting the weight. We go twice more, whatever feels good. We lift the heels. Exhale down nice. We go one last time using the hands to press the earth. Lift the heels. We're going to take two more breaths. So choosing how much weight we want to keep. Softening the neck, just the arms in core pressing. And we send the heels down to the mat. We're going to soften the neck and roll the spine all the way up, vertebra by vertebra. We sweep the arms to the ceiling, inhale. We bring the hands through the chest, feet together to the front of the mat. Beautiful. With that presence, we just pick the left foot off the floor. From here, we open the hip. Feel free to bring the foot higher if you wish. Nice. Long leg, long neck. Nice. And the more we press down through the right leg, we're going to extend the back of the left knee. Left toes open to the side. We bring the left heel forward 45 degree angle lines. And we cross that leg to the right. On the inhale through center. And we open to the left reach. We're going to go twice more through center. We cross the leg, squeeze. We inhale through center. We open to the side, feeling the body. We go one last time through center. We cross the leg and through center. Open to the side. We're going to come back with the left foot forward. We slide the left leg back into our open warrior three. We bend the right knee for strength, point the left toes. Whatever feels comfortable in the height, we're gonna bend the left knee. So the left heel will aim for the right glute. So we're gonna go twice more, hands together, lengthen the left leg. Exhale, bend. We go once more, feel free to keep both feet down. Exhale, bend, beautiful. We're gonna extend left leg back into warrior two. So just a moment to arrive, expand the arms wide. And we bend the elbows, chest open, support the back of the head. On the inhale, lengthen both legs. On the exhale, we open right knee towards right front corner of the mat, breathing into side angle pose. We're gonna go twice more on the inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. We take one deep breath, easy neck. And we lean to the right. We go one last time. Almost slow motion, but full presence in the body. Nice. Bend the right knee. We inhale, easy neck. And we tilt towards the right. We take two more breaths. Power through the feet. One more breath. And taking a reverse warrior, right elbow to the sky. And we wheel both hands down towards the mat. Right leg up, three leg dog. Optional three leg vinyasa, normal vinyasa, or we can meet in our downward facing dog. Six ones to the sky. We're gonna paddle through the legs. And bend the knees, look forward, step or fly to the front of the mat. From here, we're gonna keep the knees micro bent. We're gonna extend the right leg, if available, twist the upper body to the right, right arm up to the ceiling. This time we can bend the right elbow behind the back. We take two more breaths. And we release through center, just noticing the sensations, how the body feel. We go opposite side. We press through the feet, extend the left leg. We can keep opening the chest as we bend the left elbow behind the back. Softening the neck. One more breath. 
and we release through center. And roll the spine all the way up. We're gonna sweep the arms to the ceiling. Inhale, long legs, long arms. Exhale, forward fold, move the earth. Last vinyasa, look forward. Hands down, step or fly through chaturanga option. Upward dog into child's pose this time. And we can keep the arms next to the body. If we soften the hands on the mat, is it, sorry, if we soften the forehead on the mat, we can move the neck from side to side. Connect into this availability in the body, the space. And carry on with the breath, in and out through the nose, through the body. And then roll the spine all the way up. An option to stay here, keep reaching through the crown of the head. Option to rotate shoulders out, press the hands behind the back, lift the chest. If you like more intensity, we can walk the hands back. For more intensity, we can tap the tailbone forward, lift the hips of the floor, so giving that extra hip flexor opening. We're gonna take three more breaths. We can release the head back. If that feels good with your body, just breathe into whatever it is here. We take one more breath. And using the core, send the hips down. We bring the body forward into our clank pose. There's a moment to arrive, tag the toes under. Option to lengthen the legs. We take three more breaths, energetically bringing those hips to the ribcage, those toes to the hands. And we send the left knee to the left wrist. From here, we're gonna take our deer pose, so we're gonna keep both knees bent. We can bring that left shin parallel to the front of the mat, so feel free to keep the weight. As I do on the left hip, if it's in your body, we can center a bit more if that feels good, and feel free to walk the hands forward. And surrendering to where we are, we can find our edge where we feel the pose and just close the eyes. Leading into the space, yes, available to all what happens. And then we're on time, we're going to roll the spine all the way up. And from here, we're gonna slide that right leg forward and we're gonna take our double pigeon. So we can bring one shin on top of the other if that feels good, if it doesn't feel as right today. We can go to our cross leg, more than perfect. We'll still be opening through the hips and we have the option to stay here. If that feels good on your body, we can lean the upper body forward, softening the neck, finding our edge. We can keep the eyes closed. It's not the same, wherever it feels more timeless, just giving the space to release if it's ready. And when you're on time, we roll the spine all the way up. We're gonna unravel the legs, bring both feet forward, knees bend, and we can move the knees from side to side. We're gonna go straight to the opposite side. So we bend the right knee, right shin parallel to the front of the mat, and we can send that left leg back with the knee bend. And again, we can stay on that right hip. Might be perfect for us today. If it's in your body, we're gonna walk the hands forward, Feel the pose, we can stay here. Feel free to close the eyes.
and we roll this spine all the way up. We're gonna slide a left leg forward into our double pigeon. So feel free again to bring one chin on top of the other. We can go into our cross leg. Whatever feels better for us today, whatever intensity and option to stay, or to start leaning forward, keeping that openness at the chest. We can take just a few moments. So soften the shoulders, the neck. In your own time, we roll the spine all the way up. Feeling the body, lean the hands back. We're going to unravel the legs again. We can move them from side to side. We're going to extend both legs forward. Point the toes, freeing the arms off the mats. On the next exhale, we're going to start rolling the spine down onto the floor. Vertebra by vertebra, feel free to use the hands if we need to. And slowly melt into the mat, noticing the body as it rests down. Beautiful ones, we're all the way down, sending the arms next to the ears, stay your time. And then we're gonna hug the knees to the chest one by one. And feel free to gently again swing from side to side. We're gonna send both feet down for our bridge poses straight away, already hamstrings alive. We're gonna lift the hips. We have the option to interlace the fingers behind the lower back, drawing the shoulder blades together. We're gonna take five deep breaths. Feel free to go through your wheel if that feels good. We keep pressing through the feet. Thighs towards the midline. And we free the hands, roll the spine all the way down, a moment to breathe. We're going to keep the arms next to the body, palms down. We're going to send the feet up to the sky. And more than perfect to stay here, allowing the energy to flow into our inversion. Feel free to flow the feet overhead. That feels good for your body. Feel free to go to your shoulders down. Whatever feels good today. We're just going to take a few moments. And then on your own time, if we're in shoulder sun, we can float feet overhead. And we can start rolling all the way down towards the mat. Feel free to bend the knees. We're going to expand the arms wide into T-shape, rest the feet down onto the floor, and we're going to widen the feet as, well, as wide as the mat. Feet as wide as the mat. We're going to bring the knees in together as if they have a magnet. We can take a few moments here. Feel free to close the eyes. If we don't feel anything on the hips, so we like more intensity, we can bring the feet even a little bit wider. It's available to us here, let's open it. And we release the Knees, we're going to send them to the right. Feel free to keep the feet where they are. And we send the knees to the left. We can go once more, just letting the legs drop to the right, non resistance, and to the left. We're going to meet with both legs to the right for our twist to finish. Feel free to keep feet where they are. I feel quite nice and open. If you like more intensity, we can bring knees together. We can go into our ego legs. So whatever is needed today. Easy breath at the heart.
And we come back through the center and we can let the legs drop to the opposite side. It might feel slightly different, so we can choose a different variation if you need to, more open one, more intense. There's nothing to hold on to, slowly melting onto the mat. On your own time, moving through center. And feel free to take any movement, anything that feels good on your body for our final relaxation, for our final savasana. Anything that feels good, don't worry too much. You can keep the eyes closed. And just take in your time to bring the palms facing up. Coming back to your natural breath. And opening on the inhale, expanding the chest. And with each exhale, becoming lighter. 